Blessed are you among men, because he has blessed you. And whoever he blesses, no man can unbless or cause. Has your life been devoid of the blessings of God? Has your life been made by struggles and hardship? The solution to this is the blessing. The blessing is the access to a life of peace, fulfillment and plenty. When you are blessed by God, it is evident to all. And when you have not been blessed by God, it is also visible for men to see. The blessings of God go beyond money. A life blessed by God has peace, health, success in all things, access to men, access to places and promotion on all fronts. The blessings that God gives last forever. If it is not from God, it has no roots and would vanish like air. It is time to be blessed by God. It is time to have peace with all. It is time to be in health. It is time to have access to men and places. It is time to enjoy wealth and promotion that would last. This can only be given by God and surely it is your time to be blessed by Him. It is an end to your hardship shame and sorrow. Rejoice, for your time has come. Be glad, for there is a transfer in the ream of the Spirit for your sake, and the blessings would remain forever. Do you know that if you pay for everything in life and struggle for everything you want before you get them, then you are living outside of the blessings of God. Note that Jesus came to earth without anything but he was living a blessed life. When your life is blessed, you lack nothing and have everything. Men came from all over the world to hear him speak and all needs were met. When he needed to feed them, there were provisions. When he needed to dine with his disciples, he did not lack a place to stay with them. Provision was always around him and that is what it means to be living a blessed life. A transfer is taking place for you to become a partaker and a beneficiary of those blessings. There is a transfer for you. It is coming your way and no man can stop it. One of the functions of government is redistribution and transfer of income from the wealthy to the other citizens to create a stable balance between both and reduce the income inequality. The income redistribution does not last. It gets finished and takes you back to square one. It is only a temporary measure to keep you with something, but not to last long. So also a country can receive foreign aid from another country to serve as a palliative to the citizen, to help and sustain the country and its citizens. This is like wealth or money transfer and is considered as grants, aids and so on. But all these also leave you at the mercy of the giver, with numerous conditions and burden on your neck and they do not last longer than one to two years. But today we are not talking about transfer of income that would fizzle out after one to two years. We are not talking of a temporary blessing that would serve you for a short time and take you back to where you were before. We are talking of wealth transfer, blessing transfer, taking over of blessings and mantle. Before you take over the estates and properties of your father, there must be a transfer there must be passing down of wealth. In the things of God, there are also transfers in the blessing. Before any blessing can hit a man, there has to be a transfer from a higher person to the lesser person. Abraham was blessed by God and the blessing on Abraham was passed down to his children and it has continued down to this day. Abraham blessed his son before he died. It was the transfer of the blessing. When Isaac was old and was about to join his fathers, he asked his son to prepare him venison, to receive the generational blessing from him. We know what happened. 
Jacob got the blessing and the nation of Israel is the carrier and display of that blessing passed down from Abraham to date. Without this transfer, every statement of the blessing is just mere words. It must be passed down to you. It is only a man on a high pedestal that can look at you and pull you up. When you are a man who is called blessed, you do not struggle in your affairs. You cannot quantify the blessing. The Bible said God is the one who loads us daily with benefit. Have you ever seen a loaded lorry before? Can you measure the goods in that lorry? That is how immeasurable God's blessings can be. He blessed you beyond the thinking and imagination of men. He takes you to a ream of surplus, a ream of overflowing supply. Not like the worldly system of income transfer that takes away your burden for a while with many hidden agendas and obligations. For you to receive the transfer of God's blessings to your life, you must take steps to be known by God. You cannot receive the blessings when you are not in His covering. Do you know God and does God have you in His agenda? You must be connected and aligned with Him for you to be eligible for this transfer of wealth that would last forever. You must abide in Him, and Him abiding and dwelling in you. John 15 verse 4 says, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself without remaining in the vine, neither can you bear fruit, producing evidence of your faith, unless you remain in me. You must be identified in Him, and permanently existing for Him. That is how you get the transfer of the blessing that would be transferable to your children and the generations after you. If you have been far away, it is time to come back. If you are loaded with so many burdens that are hindering your connection and access to Him, it is time to drop those loads and come up higher. If you have been choked up with so many things of the flesh, they would hinder the workings of the blessing in your life. Disassociate yourself from the fleshly things and be closer and filled with His words. Your blessings from Him would be established and would bear fruits. Several ways exist to attract the attention of heaven and cause a transfer of the blessing to your way. Men existed in Bible days that lived lives devoid of that blessing. And from some of those channels, they got themselves connected to the blessings and lived and transferred the blessings to their children. One of such means and channel is prayer. The man called Jabez is a classic example of a man who portrayed sorrow, hardship and pain. He was called Jabez because that was what characterized his life. But when he realized that there can be a transfer from heaven to him, he got it via the channel of prayer. The Bible made us understand that he prayed to God to bless him and enlarge his coast, and God did not disappoint him. His story changed and he was given a new identity. Another way to access the transfer of God's blessings is via obedience to His Word. It is the principal channel and route for you to receive the blessing. He commanded from the beginning that if we obey and observe all His commands, He would bless all that we do. Obedience to God sets you up for the blessing. Deuteronomy 28 captures so many of the blessings God has promised those who obey Him. The chapter starts with, Now it shall be, if you diligently listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all of His commandments which I am commanding you today. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you pay attention. 
to the voice of the Lord your God. Make sure you know his word and do his command. These things would qualify you for his blessings to receive the transfer of the generational blessing that comes on those who fear him and do his commands. Another channel and means to receive the transfer of the blessings from God is to be engaged in giving. When you make the lives of others better by giving the little you have, you are signing up for a bigger blessing from God. You are making yourself a channel of His blessings just like a pipe of water or oil never gets dry. You become a monumental signature of the blessed. You become a signature of wealth. Women, like the Zarephath woman, Abraham got their wealth transfer from God via giving. You can be eligible for the transfer of God's blessing. Make up your mind today. Be aligned and connected to Him. Be identified with and in Him. Engage in prayers, obedience and giving. And you would receive your blessings from God.